it's Reese and today I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone. I got a black iPhone 6 so I'm just going to show you guys what's on it. So first I have my lock screen and it just has a picture of me and my friends at formal. So once I log in I have one, two, three pages of apps and my background is a picture of me and my friend in Hawaii and I really like the blue colors and I thought it was so pretty. On the first page I just have all the apps that the phone usually comes with and I kept them in the order and then I just made a folder for all the useless stuff so stuff I never use then at the bottom I have Netflix and YouTube Netflix is <sighs> so the shows that I'm addicted to on Netflix are definitely Grey's Anatomy and New Girl and Grey's Anatomy is the best show I just I love it so much yeah you guys have to watch it Clueless I watch a lot and Grey's Anatomy is really good moving on to YouTube I always check my subscriptions so like if anyone posts I'll be notified in the subscription box folder thing whatever this is and if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe now I'll put a little link if you click here and yeah oh my gosh BuzzFeed has the best videos and they post like every day so moving on to the second page I have a utilities folder FaceTime and my W days and my W days is kind of like a daily journal. You need a passcode to log in. You can just write everything that you're feeling. Last year I wrote in it a lot more than I do now. It'll send you notifications every day. May I wrote in it a lot and it's really cool just to like go back and look at how you're feeling or like what were you experiencing in your life at that time. Today is March 5th. Nar. <laughs> March 5th and yeah, so like 17 days till the Justin Bieber concert. 18 days. So like I could write that and then I could put like a picture or something like that. And it's really cool just to like look back on everything. And then I have Shazam. And Shazam will tell you what song is playing. The next app I have is Spotify. And Spotify I use every day. It probably should be in my everyday app. Lately I've been really into Tropical House songs. So it's kind of like what Justin Bieber's newer like where are you now um what do you mean those kind of background noises like really upbeat and stuff and i'm really obsessed with my post jersey song BG, was cool. it's a remix i think and it's so good the um and then i just have playlists so if you want to follow me my spotify is reese lopez with two z's and i don't know why it says i'm listening to all these guitar people because i actually haven't been but you can see my playlists and follow them if you want or anything like that next to that i have my everyday folder, so it has Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Grades, Waze, VSCO, and Timehop. And on Instagram, it's Instagram. Everyone just posts everything, and yeah. It's really cool now you can see how many people viewed videos instead of like how many people liked it. But yeah, there's just everybody posts pictures, all that stuff. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And on Snapchat, you guys can add me. So screenshot this like little snapchat code and it'll add me. It's also really cool because you can add people like nearby so like if somebody's nearby you and they go on this nearby thing you can add them on that too and then you can just like add by snap code which if you have a picture of me it'll scan it but it doesn't. <laughs> and I really love filters on snapchat. I love this one the dog. The face swap is the coolest thing. It is so weird. I love this one. Filters on Snapchat are the best, I really like them. And moving on to Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter. My username is at Reese Lopez with two Z's. And I just, I don't really tweet that much, I just like retweet stuff and I like a lot of things. And then the next app I have is Grades. And Grades is a really good app. You can also see what grade you need to get on like your next test or an assignment. If I like do quarter three common assessment exam, if I got 100%, I would have a 90.5 or if I got like a 78 it would drop my grade to an 86.4. I'm getting my grades up. Waze is really cool because it tells you like where cops are and stuff. It'll tell you where there's like a lot of traffic or if there's an accident or anything like that. And my next app is VSCO or some people call it ViscoCam. I use it for filters and my grid which is like your collection of photos and you can post them and follow other people's grid. So yeah this is my grid and you can follow mine. My username is just Reese Lopez, and in your feed you can just see pictures of me or whoever else you follow. So you just go here, you press explore, and then you type in a username. And yeah, it's really cool. The filters are really good on VSCO. And then my next app is Timehop. You can see what was going on in your life a year ago. 
And I guess I screenshotted this picture of like pineapples or something. I took a picture of Beauty when she was sleeping. It's really cool to see what was happening exactly a year ago. Next to that is my GoPro app and you can just connect your GoPro and control it from the app, which is really cool. And then I have photography and it just has camera plus, which I never use. Juxtaposer, which I never use either. And Facetune. And Facetune, you can just like fix a pimple or like whiten your teeth or anything like that. And then I have Find Friends, which you can just add people and you can give them your location or they can give you theirs. You can always see where they are. And then for Starbucks, you can pay and look at drinks. You can order. You can place orders like this. So if I wanted like grande peppermint mocha, I would just put that in and I could be able to pick it up and not even have to wait in line. And then next to that I have Big Day Light. And I'm just counting down the days till I'm 17 and it's 27 days from now, so April 1st. And then I have Find iPhone in case other people lose their phone or I lose my phone. And then I have Uber, SoundCloud, which is cool. I don't really go on it. I only go on it if I want to listen to like a remix or something. I'm listening to a lot of Tropical House remixes. So that's where I can go to listen to a lot of them. I don't really make playlists, but you can follow me. My username is Reese Lopez with two Z's. Then I have Quizlet, study with in the car or whatever if I have a test. And then the next app I have is Pinterest, and I love Pinterest so much. You can just, it's basically Tumblr but better because you can see where things are from. You can follow boards that are for certain things. So like this one is in Dream Closet. I think that bathing suit is so cute. And then you can see related stuff like, oh my gosh, all this stuff. Like if I want to pin something, all I have to do is just hold it, pin it to my board, just say bikinis, and then I can just scroll down. And it has a lot of really cute outfits and hair stuff, DIYs, everything, cooking. There's even like guy stuff on here, but I think it's definitely more for girls. Oh my god, the girl's hair. And if you want to follow me or one of my boards, my username is Reese Lopez with two Z's. And yeah, I really love Pinterest. And the next app that I have is Piano Tiles. I am obsessed with Piano Tiles. It is so fun. It's addicting and it's really fun to play a song that you know. So I'm just going to play my favorite song, which is Canon. It's so much better when you have the volume on because you can actually hear the notes that you're playing. Just play like all these songs and a lot of times you'll know the song without even like knowing the title. And then the next app that I have is Boomerang and this is kind of becoming a popular thing, but Instagram counts it almost as a video. I don't really know, but it just it, it moves back and forth. It's basically a GIF. Then you can share that with people. And then the next app that I have is Stop. Oh my god, I am obsessed with this. Abby showed me this, and it is... I can't even... I'll, I'll play it literally for two hours straight. It'll randomize the categories, and if I don't like them, I can press shuffle. And if I like these, I can press start game, and then I'll get a letter. End my time, and now she'll have 21 seconds to come up with that stuff, and then she'll play that same, like, round, and then we'll see who did better. It's just, it's so fun, and it's so hard to, like, come up with things. And then I have P-Tracker Lite, which is just, like, a period tracker. You can just enter, like, your last, like, day of your last cycle or something and it'll do your projected date, so yeah. And then I have Realtor.com, like looking at houses, so I'll just go on there occasionally. Google Translate for helping me with my French homework. And then I have Daily Practice for the SAT. It just has a daily question. I usually forget about it. Sometimes they're about math, sometimes they're about like English or vocab or anything like that. And then the next app that I have is Ubu. It's FaceTime basically, but with multiple people. Then I have AMC, and this is just for watching The Walking Dead because I'm too lazy to watch it on the TV. So I'll just watch it on my phone. At the bottom I have phone, mail, which I have a crap ton of emails, I know. Oh my gosh, there's too many. If I try to delete, it just says archive, which I don't know what that means, but yeah. So I can't delete them. Then I just have Safari, and then I have music, which I never use because I use Spotify. If you want to follow me on any of the apps that I mentioned, or download them, or even suggest apps that you think are really cool, then you can comment down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye!